Okay, everybody, uh, welcome back to the World's Worst Fishing. I'm Chris Jones, and today we're continuing um, a, another popular colors. And um, this is a really great color. It's very simple. Um, I think anyone can make it probably their first try. They can, they can get it just about perfect. Um, it's a really cool color. It's unique. It has an even more unique name. Today we're going to be doing South African Special. Um, this is a uh, color um, known by Zoom, of course, like most colors. <laughs> uh, I believe they make it in their Zoom Trick Worm. I, I think they maybe make it in a chunk trailer or, or you know, a couple of other things. Um, it's not their most known color, but it's one of the coolest. Um, and it's very, very simple. All we need is just some black colorant. We need some 0 .035 red flake, some 0 .035 purple flake. And then we need a couple small glitters. Um, so, oop, touch the camera there. So I like to put a little tiny silver, uh, the 0 .008, and then a little bit of small gold. This is the 0 .015 um, from MF. So we're gonna be doing a couple different, uh, a couple different glitters in there. And, uh, and I think it's a really cool color. So we're just gonna start out. This is the Dead On Plastics Worm Plastic. Perfect for what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be making some uh, seven inch ribbon tails. We're gonna be making a, a six and a half inch finesse worm, similar to a trick worm. Um, this is a kind of a cool little resin mold that a friend of mine made, Brad Hardy at Oracle Lures. Check him out. Um, we're gonna fill in a couple of these little darters here uh, and just see what those look like in the color because I think it's cool. Then we have a couple other uh, cool, this is like a little variety pack resin mold. And, uh, and then we're gonna do a couple of the, uh, of the new hand pour worm that I have. Um, I just, I can't stop making things in that mold just to see what things look like. So anyway, uh, we're gonna get started. This is South African Special. Thank you so much for tuning in. Okay, so I know this color pretty well. Um, so I, I don't really, uh, I don't really need to cook this first. And, and then take my time drop for drop to, to make sure I'm not overdoing it. Um, so we're gonna make it pretty thick with, with black color here. So we're just gonna go ahead and, and load it up pretty good. Okay, looks about right to me. And this is one measuring cup of Plastisol. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and stir that in. Okay, so as you can imagine, it looks pretty rich, okay? And that's what we want. So we're just gonna give that a few more stirs. All right. Done there, kind of wipe that down a little bit, set that aside. Uh, about three minutes in the microwave and we'll meet you right back. Okay, she's going in. Here we go, three minutes on the clock and uh, we'll meet you back here shortly. All righty, so here we have our cooked plastic. It's around like 340 degrees, okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our flakes. So we're gonna add some purple. All right, there we go. About a full scoop here of purple and, uh, and maybe just a little more. Okay. Also our medium red, here we go. Another full scoop. This is a, a quarter teaspoon here. And this is at one measuring cup of Plastisol. And I'm adding a lot of flake because, you know, it's black plastic, obviously it's dark. Um, you know, you have to have a little bit more flake in there for it to show up. Now here is the tiny silver, and we're not gonna do quite as much. You know, not quite a full scoop because a little goes a long way. With that right there, not to mention, we're also adding this small gold, okay? So this is 0 .015 gold. All right, we're gonna do about the same kind of scoop there. And that's where we'll start. And uh, you know, we may need to um, change a few things, you know, maybe add more of this or that. But it's looking pretty good. So we'll just kind of rotate it up real quick or shake it up. Do not do this without a glove. And in fact, probably don't even do it with a glove. Okay, let's, uh, let's really get a really get a good look at what we're dealing with. Yeah, there it is. Okay. That's looking pretty South African specially to me. And, uh, and, and as I said earlier, it's a super simple color 
that just looks awesome. So um, now we're gonna make some baits. Okay, so we're gonna take our single injector here. We're gonna draw up, all right. Here's seven inch ribbon tail. Okay. Okay, oops, get that topped off. Okay, and then here's a uh, six and a half inch finesse worm. Looking good. Take that out, top it off. All right. Okay. So those were probably shot around 315 degrees, maybe a little bit lower, and uh, looks good. So um, now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna let them set up a little bit, and uh, and then we'll pour a few things with the um, with the uh, hand pour molds. I'm gonna transfer it into a smaller cup. Uh, that just makes it a little bit easier to pour, I think, because it has a narrower uh, spout. Um, so that's what we're gonna do next, and, uh, and then we'll meet you right back. Okay, gonna do a little pour in here. Like I said, these are like little three inch darters, and, uh, and they are pretty cool. All right, got that one there, looks good. Now for number two. And what I like about these is that even a noob like me can can fill them and, and they look fairly clean. You know what? We'll we'll just pour one of these just for kicks. Whoops. Did that one a little sloppy there. Okay. Now we're gonna set that aside. <clears throat> Alright. We're gonna try for a couple of these uh, a couple of these hand pour worms here. gonna try to pour these real quick just to just to get a few of them on camera here all right next okay that one's nice and full it's good next and you get the idea I don't need to film all of this because uh That'll just make the video unnecessarily longer. So we're gonna go ahead and cut out here. Okay, instead of a drum roll, paradiddles, here we go. All right, paradiddles. And paradiddle diddles. Okay, we're done now. Okay, South African special seven inch worms. Oh yeah, it's the simple things in life, like a good simple color. All right, Let's get, look at that. Thank you. Yes, sir. It's just simply beautiful. And um, and like I said, you can be making this one in ten minutes. It's just a, a great stunning color. Props to Zoom for coming up with this uh, look. And, um, you know, they have pioneered so many great colors. And, uh, you know, this is, this is one of them. So um, that is, uh, is how you do it. Okay, and here we go. Finesse worms. Looking good, looking good. Yeah, there we go. Just like that. Just like that. Very, very, very cool color. And, uh, and very effective too. I've had people ask me to to make this pretty much this exact color before uh, some customers. So uh, it's definitely working for somebody, and uh, it definitely works in the uh, in the aesthetic uh, community. I mean, it is a beautiful, beautiful looking color. And uh, and there again, like I said, simple too. All right, now let's check out these uh, these little darters. Get one, get one to come out here. Yeah, very cool, huh? Very cool. These are these are neat baits right here. I uh, I would imagine you could do some bed fishing damage with these little guys. That right there, wiggling in their face. They don't see that every day. Yeah, pretty cool. And we'll take a look at this thing right here. 
don't actually know what you call this. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah. Pretty cool. Couple, couple new things right, right here that I haven't shown before. They look like little midgey crickets. But uh, yeah, those are those are some pretty cool little baits. And uh, and now we will take a look at these uh, worms here. So grab one out. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's a cool worm and a cool color. We'll take a look at another one here. These are uh, these are fish catching worms. Okay. These are still a little gooey. Haven't haven't quite set up yet. But as you can see, the uh, oh, as you can see the, uh, the actual colorway looks looks really really terrific uh, in just about anything. You know, I wanted to show a little bit of diversity. I didn't do the best job because I made three different worms. <laughs> you know kind of like a worm fest here but uh, you know I wanted to show these just because they're different and uh, you know you can get some some different looks you know with the same color and see which baits you like in it you know you don't have to make a worm color always in a worm you can do it uh, in whatever you want and that's uh, one of the great things about the freedoms that making baits by yourself allows is you can pretty much do what you want and uh, throw it at the fish and, and see what's gonna work Okay, well, um, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Hope you can kind of see that. It's a little hard to hold them uh, right. But, um, yeah, South African Special. Uh, a really cool color with an even cooler name. Um, makes me think of Cape Town, you know, right down there on the very bottom of the continent. But, uh, yeah, um, a, a really cool color. I mean, all you need, I mean, it's, it's, it's as simple as it gets. I mean, you just need black colorant, gold flake, silver flake, purple, and red. Um, and kind of experiment with how much of each you want you know experiment with how much uh, pigment you want if you want it really thick black or maybe a little bit more translucent so that you can see more flake um, this is just kind of to me how it looks in the package um, you know I, I I'm not sure if uh, if it technically has a little gold in it or if it's just a little silver um, this is just how I've made it before just trying to match it based on pictures um, and I think it works really well. You could try it with just gold. You could try it with just silver um, and see what you like better or both, uh, depending on what you want to do. And, uh, you know, you could always go, you know, you could maybe try, um, you know, the medium red and then maybe large purple or vice versa and just see what different textures you like with the different uh, flake sizes. So um, anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Um, hope you've enjoyed a really, really great color. And simple you do not need to uh, you know beat your head against the wall to, to figure this one out uh, it's not frustrating to make or anything like that and, uh, and it's a good color to start out with um, if you just want to make some cool stuff if you're new um, and even if you're not new you know I still get just as much satisfaction pulling this out of a mold as some crazy hand pour thing um, but uh, anyway, that's going to wrap it up. Like I said, thanks for watching. This has been uh, another edition of Popular Colors. And uh, please shoot me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And uh, like and subscribe. Of course, your support helps keep the channel going. Uh, we will catch you next time, everybody.